Jen here and welcome back to Blending Honestly. And if you are new, hello and welcome. I'm going to ask you guys a favor and please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with today's video. So I am trying to do something different with my lighting because I want to wear my glasses. I have a very bad habit of not wearing my glasses in videos and that really ends up with me having a horrible, horrible migraine by the time I finish recording. So I'm going to try to wear my glasses more often because I'm tired of having headaches. So I have a light in the back and I have my, my two soft lights on to hopefully help with the lighting. I'm also working on getting lighting up here because if I turn my ring light on, you can very, very clearly see the ring on my glasses, which annoys me while editing. If it doesn't bother you, let me know down below and I'll just say screw it and keep my ring light on while I wear my glasses. But for me, it's very annoying while editing to see this. Plus, it kind of highlights how dirty my lenses really are, so let's just, let's just not. So anyways, <laughs> today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I keep my curls for the whole week. So I actually curled my hair on Sunday and it is now Thursday. I'm going to show you guys how I keep my hair curled for a week long without constantly recurling. So first and foremost, what I use when I curl my hair is this new me this is the model hb212 i'm not sure how wide the curler is this is more on the thicker side i do have a smaller one this one is hb025u so I do have a smaller one I use sometimes, but this one is my go-to favorite one. And I'm actually an affiliate with Numi, so I have a code for you guys down below. I believe it's edit20. That'll get you 20% off anything off the Numi USA store, which, which is just tons of amazing hair products like curlers and straighteners and stuff like that. I actually own the, the two curlers I showed you, plus a straightener. So like Numi is my favorite go-to brand for hair products. Anyway, so first off, I do curl my hair. And at the end of the night, I don't really want to like wash my hair and have to redo my curls or go to bed with my curls and wake up with a big huge frizzy mess or like a big old tangle or whatever that. I have been doing this for god probably about four years I've been doing this with my hair to either keep my curls longer or because you can actually do this with straight hair if you don't want to curl your hair you don't want to damage your hair with heat you can also do this with your hair perfectly straight. If you want me to show you guys how it looked perfectly straight hair, let me know down below. So the first step, obviously, is you want to comb out your hair, make sure there are no knots whatsoever. Um, I don't think I have any knots in my hair. Ah, yep, there's one. So yeah, the first step is to comb out your hair because you don't want knots in it when you roll it up because it's just gonna be a pain in the butt. So the first step, because you are about to go to bed, and a lot of people, like myself, sweat when they sleep. It's just a natural thing. So the first thing you want to do is spray some dry shampoo or dry conditioner into your hair, because that way it'll soak up your oils throughout the night, and then in the morning when you take it down, you're going to do the exact same thing. So my favorite dry shampoo is by Batiste. I am out of that, unfortunately. So I'm using my backup favorite, which is Psst. <laughs> That's, that's the brand. The brand is Psst. It's Freeman Psst. Yeah. Um, this one's actually citrus scented, which is my favorite scent ever. So all you want to do is just spritz your roots and then you section your hair and you want to spray towards the ends because that's where most of your oil is going to be in the very top. So you're going to start from your roots and work your way towards your ends. Okay. Now, a lot of people just want to go right in and mix it in, but for a dry shampoo to really work, you gotta let it sit for a few seconds, like 10, 15 seconds at the most. And then you can mix it in kind of like you would use, um, kind of like how you would normally wash in shampoo. You just want to kind of like rub it into your hair because it'll soak up everything. I know I'm so bad at explaining things. So you just want to rub it into your hair. That's, that's all you're doing right now is just massaging it onto your scalp, into your hair. If you feel a part of your hair that feels a bit more slick than anywhere else, that's where oil is building up. So just spritz, spritz. Okay, 
And if there is white powder left in your hair, a quick comb through will get that powder right out. But now you want to dampen your hair. You can do this with just plain water but I like to use a texturizing spray because that way the hair has a bit of a texture when you wake up in the morning. My go-to is the Redken Fashion Waves 07 Texturizing Sea Spray, and this is the bottle that it comes in. But Garnier Fruities also has a texturizing spray I like. Um, this one is the Deconstructed Beach Chic Texturizing Spray with Black Fig. Does the exact same thing as this one. It's just a lot cheaper. This one might be 20 bucks, I think. Yeah, Redkin's not a cheap brand. Um, I believe this one's like 10 bucks. So if you want to do this and cheaply, you can get this one. Or you can just use a regular spray bottle from like the 99 cent store and fill it with water and dampen your hair. Okay, now I'm gonna take my glasses off for this part just because it's kind of hard to do with the glasses on. So, so and now we're going to use the texturizing spray. And like I said, you don't want to completely soak your hair you just want it to be damp but if you accidentally spray too much it's not a bad thing it just may take longer for your hair to dry in the morning so just comb that in so and now what you need is a single clip and a loose headband this one is just a goodie headband from a Kmart you can really use any headband. I've used bandanas before, and as long as it's loose and stretchy, it'll work fine. So you want to, wherever your crease is at, you just set this like this, like a halo around the crown of your head. And then you're going to take your brush and just comb out a little section to start with. And all you do is pull and tuck. So pull and tuck. For me, I usually will stop right behind the ear and move to this side because if you have all of this part up and then jump over and start doing this side, it gets kind of a pain in the butt. Some of it starts getting loose, pulls out. Plus it is easier to do the back if you have both sides together. I will show you what I mean when I turn around. So now the awkward fun part, I'm gonna turn around on you guys and show you how I do the back. Okay, so you're gonna continue doing the tuck and pull, but keep the two sides separated. So you're going to keep going until you have two small strands and then tuck and pull until they are a little bit shorter. And then you're going to meet both ends together, tuck and pull one more time. Then you're going to take your clip, tuck and clip. And that way it is nice and buried in there so when you lay down you're not going to feel the hair clip digging into the back of your head. So now your hair is all pulled up and tucked. You can go ahead and double tuck in any loose strings of hair that are hanging out or anything like that. And then we're going to take our texturizing spray one more time and just spritz the hairs that are wrapped in. Okay, so it is the next day. I thought it was a bum today and didn't do anything until just now. And it is, and it is 514. So it is really, really late. Um, normally I would take my hair down in the morning, but because I didn't do anything, didn't leave the house, nothing like that, I left my hair up. Which is why I don't have any makeup on right now, except for my eyebrows, obviously. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to show you how my hair looks when I take it down. And yeah, so I'm just gonna unclip it. And the greatest thing about this, it's so, so easy to take down after you finish your makeup and all that. All you gotta do is just pull and shake it loose. And not only does that is that easier to take out, it also loosens the curls when you do that. And you just run, run it your fingers through and break up the curls that are stuck together. And there we go. And if you feel like up here is a little too oily, just take your dry shampoo, spritz a little bit on your root, and just blend that or uh, rub it in. And then not only is that gonna soak up any oils that may have got on your hair while you were sleeping, it's also gonna put some volume in your hair, so. And then take your hairspray. I'm using my um, Style Sexy Hair by Sexy Hair. This is the Play Dirty Texture Spray. It's a wax spray, so it holds the shape a little bit longer. voila quick easy and it's the perfect way to keep your your curls lasting 
all week long. I Like I said before, I curled my hair Sunday morning. It is now Friday night, so it really does a great job holding up your curls so you don't have to keep recurling your hair and damaging your hair with heat. The only bad thing about this, doing this like this, is the back of your hair is going to be flat. Um, I personally like how it looks more because it's just shaping your face. I don't care what the back of my head looks like. I'm not that picky. So if it bothers you, you could always take your curling iron and curl the back of your hair in the morning. It's not a big deal for me, but I will show you what I mean. So as you can see what I mean, the back of the ha your hair is going to be very, very flat. It's not going to have any curls to it. So yeah, that's it. That is how I keep my curls lasting all week long. So if you have any questions or comments about this video or my technique, go ahead and comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. So yeah, I'm going to get going. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. But you, you go.